video is more for the IT crowd, and I have an interview coming up using um, VMware's ARIA, which was vRealize. And so one of the best ways to prep for these tools is to show the prospective employer that you know how to use them and others can benefit from my exercise here. So I did download the VMware ARIA OBA, which is used to install this onto ESXi. I've been running ESXi here for a long time. You can see VMware. ESXi that I have running on a uh, small Lovato desktop computer. Anyway, so this was installed by creating a new machine and then simply I uploaded the, well here on storage, if I go here to the storage tab you can see what I've um, loaded on this machine. Take a look at the data store here. I want to kind of get rid of that thing there. There we go. Okay, so you can browse data store here and you can see where those are all the VM folders. And these are all the binaries or the um, OBAs that I can use to create various systems. And right now I do it manually because I'm not using vRealize. So this is all I can install. And one of these, of course, is going to be the uh, ARIA binary here, if I can see it. It's here somewhere. Anyway, that's right here. So this binary here is what I used. It's 3. One, two gigabytes, it's an OBA file. You can see it listed right here. All right, so I installed that and just let it run. It, I, I'm not even sure how long it took, but it installed. So there it is, and it says open a browser here. Your appliance is ready, so let's follow that instruction and see how it goes. So here's the appliance right there running along. And do I want express installation? I guess I can always change the stuff. Let's let's go with new because it gives us more options probably. And take a look. Okay, a cluster. I don't think I want a cluster. I want it as simple as possible. So administrator product license. Okay, we have a license, I think. Nodes. Next. Alright, some account here. Just put in some simple password. It's not going to work because it's too short. Okay, will it like that? What does it like about this? Eight characters, one number, blah, blah, blah. Must not match username. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, let's just put something in here. It likes that. It's my standard password which I guess isn't so good. Okay, that's in there. Certificate, do I care? Let's, I don't want to put a certain, I'm going to use the default. Enter general settings, cluster node name. Um, I could put an NTP server in. An NTP is a time server, so let's do a cluster node name. Uh, area cluster, a primary do something like that NTP server address um, I think I can use time.apple.com for this thing let's see if that'll work uh, ping I think that'll work yep 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 Okay, let's get that. I never put in the, the uh, name. It doesn't usually work. All right, add it. I guess I can add a few of them. Time.windows.com. Let's put that in there. Okay, there we go. Uh, 
that might be enough for now. Okay, what else does it want? That's it. Next. Okay, on full capacity, availability nodes. I don't want that because I'm only a single node cluster, which is not really a cluster. Okay, add nodes. Do I want to add nodes? Do I want to add nodes? Current cluster role. Probably going to add one, I'm thinking. No, maybe not. What if I don't do this? All right, ready to complete. Start the cluster. Let's see if it'll go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, there goes the node. I probably should have put in one node. So sometimes you prepare for these interviews with what the client's using and you want to show that you can operate it and have a complete experience with it, which is what I'm trying to do here. This is actually a pretty slick tool. Let's see if we can get on here. Okay, log in. That's a good sign. Cluster's not started, start area operations. So this is an administrator console, it looks like. And we'll start the cluster and see if it'll go. Boom. First startup. So I'm hoping I can work off the cluster directly. It might require nodes. Okay, there's a primary cluster starting up. It's probably going to init the database. Why is it complaining about that? Okay, no, I don't want to put an LDAP. Let's get this guy going. Okay, I don't want an HA yet. Looks like it is on. I guess I'll turn on SSH to log into the cluster if I want to get onto it. Okay, so what does this all mean? It's going online. It's probably stressing out my uh, small node here. Let's see if I can find my uh, page. Well, I can hear the fan spinning up on my uh, laptop, so it's really requiring resources here. see what's going on. Yeah, it looks like my uh, CPU is, is pinned here on my node. Well, that's life in the big city, right? Memories. It's taking a lot of memory too. And this is a small instance. Network, nothing. Disk is working hard, not that hard. Okay, so it's CPU bound. And coming down. Let's take a look here. Going online. Looks like it's not set up for PST time zone. It's probably GMT.
I guess we could log on to here from Vince and see what happens. Let's see if that'll work. Since we have FSH turned on, Let's see what this thing is doing. Actually, I want to go on there as admin, I think. It's probably root. Well, let's be on there. What's it doing? What's this thing doing here? doesn't use much so it's using 194 gig for a database which I guess isn't so bad considering that's where it's going to put everything Like that, is this thing Ubuntu? It is not. This could be BusyBox or something like that. Yep, it's something small, that's for sure. It's probably BusyBox. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. And it's set up as what? 20, and let's say it's PDT. That's good. Okay, it says we're online. And that's good. Okay, we're still going online, so let's see what happens when it finishes. Looks like it's going to want to update. Well, this is easier than uh, setting up vCenter, that's for sure. This thing probably wants vCenter too. In which case, I'm not sure I have enough horsepower for it. Right, yeah, it's using Java, which I was warned about. I thought they went to uh, something else in a new one. Yep, wow, it's a huge Java interface. Huge. Java time environment game on 11. Wow. So much for that. And we're still going here. All right, this probably isn't really too useful to you folks. Um, this may take a long time, so I'm going to conclude the video, but that's how to get the realize slash area up and running using an OBA file. So I hope this was helpful to you. Looks like it's watching paint dry right now. All right. Thanks. Have a good day.